Hello everyone. Welcome to Manopatra's Law and Legal News podcast. Let us begin with the news highlights for 11th October. Starting with the Honorable Supreme Court, the Honorable Court while dismissing plea filed by State of West Bengal against High Court order of setting aside reappointment of Sonali Banerjee as Vice Chancellor of Calcutta University has held that the state usurped the powers of chancellor while reappointing her as the VC. The Honorable Court, while rejecting a petition seeking a declaration that the fundamental rights enshrined in Part 3 of the Constitution were ultra-virus to the Constitution, noted the INA in invoking Article 32, which is also a fundamental right to pray for the deletion of fundamental rights. The Honorable Supreme Court, in exercise of power under Article 142 of the Constitution, directed the incumbent judicial members of the Karnataka State Administrative Tribunal to continue in office till further orders, subject to their agreeing to the same. The Supreme Court has held that no offence for dishonour of check under Section 138 of the Negotiable Instruments Act is made out of check is presented for the full amount without endorsing the part payment made by the borrower after the issuance of the check since sum is not legally enforceable debt. The Honorable Supreme Court has refused to completely lift the bail condition imposed on former Karnataka Minister Gali Janardhan Reddy that he should not enter the Bellary district while the trial is in the multi illegal mining case is going on. The Honorable Supreme Court has held that early conclusion of criminal trials would enhance the faith of people in the justice delivery system. The Honorable Supreme Court has dismissed writ petition seeking directions to the Election Commission of India to deregister political parties which failed to publish details regarding criminal cases of its candidate. Moving on to the High Courts. The Delhi High Court has directed the department to grant IGST refund paid on the goods exported after deducting the differential amount of duty drawback. The Delhi High Court has held each company is a separate legal entity, hence an agreement entered into by one of the companies in a group cannot be binding on the other members of the same group. However, concept of group of companies, arbitration agreement can be binding on non-signatory companies as well. The Kerala High Court, while directing a college to admit a candidate, has held that it may be true that there was an incident in the past which led to a police complaint being filed against the petitioner, but college cannot deny admission merely on speculation that he will disrupt the discipline in future. The Allahabad High Court, while observing that as per the mandate of the Holy Quran bigamy, is not sanctified unless a man can do justice to orphans has held that a Muslim man has to prevent himself to perform a second marriage if he is not capable of fostering his wife and children. That is all for today. Thank you and have a great day ahead.